Hey y'all, so I just want to welcome y'all back to some more of the Wolf Among Us PS4 version. So we last left off, we had talked to Narissa, my main chick. So now we're about to enter this door, so we knock or bust in. Alright, let's, let's knock. I want to bust it in, because I missed my chance to bust in with Auntie Greenleaf. That shit was so funny how BP just charged up his oh. kick. What do you want? What? Well, you just you call, going around knocking on someone doors. else. Snow Stirring singer. the pot. You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Oh my goodness. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? If I mean, step my B, fuck that, he, he being like door? an asshole. Look, I'm coming in. So, uh, let's not get into busting down doors today, alright? There we go. It's your pal. You ask nightly, Big nicely, baby. Hi, Big B. Please me. excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. They're gonna do the whole Mrs. Mrs. Smith thing. Start fighting, then next thing, start making love. Mm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Damn, look at this part. Oh yeah, they definitely took out lawns. Look at all this. This is way too much fancy stuff in this small apartment. This ain't really big, it just... Wait, unless there's like a separate room right there. I don't know. Let me check this out. This vase, baby. I really thought he was about to knock it over. Hmm. Talk about living in the past. Man, look at that, that green suit, baby. <laughs> That's why I called. We'll finish this. I thought it was gonna be like a secret passageway or something. To talk to Big B. You move it next thing you know, the cricket man gonna be right there. Speaking of which, I need to play that game, cause um I don't know. It's supposed to be like an over the head game, kind of role playing or something like that. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta what? say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. So we should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. Uh, I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us. We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if, I protect you. if you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. You know what? I can they, they're assholes, but they okay. Only if you tell me what I need to know. And I'm that sorry for beauty, though. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. <laughs> it's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Wait, what? Huh. <sighs> Um, let me just, uh... A what? day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come we'll to the finish this right conversation now, so first? I should the get that. We'll get come on. Back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. <laughs> Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call... 
call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's hmm. time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Because next time, I'm making a house call. Who, Who is, is that? this voice? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. I should have picked up the phone. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The hill? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money... That's where I went. I didn't really going know on. what to Wait. do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Did you ever see the crooked man there? When you got your loan? Or just shopping? No, never. But come on, it's his place. And the Jersey Devil never lets you forget it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night, trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. <laughs> I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... Hmm. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. We're decent people, Bigby. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. Hmm. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. I don't need to. Probably not. No. Probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Hmm. I mean... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? The thing is... I don't I mean, think it's Bloody Mary might the be there, but... The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. 
I'm gonna go to the, the lucky crooked pond. Man's behind that place. Apparently, I got, a, I got a feeling it's gonna be. I'm it. going to the lucky pond. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just... Go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? <laughs> Can you help us out? Don't fix this. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. <laughs> they really want me to kill him. Like that is like crazy. There's so many like thick like plots up in here. Now, this is what I want to know, like, since Beauty and the Beast, they was kind of, like, rich, or basically Beast was, how did they end up being, like, um, not having no money or anything? That's what I want to know. The Lucky Pond. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, oh, really? Whoa. Big B's here. Oh. This is a surprise. Sheriff, why are you never glamour tone? <laughs> why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, all right? And anyways, I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Why would you think I'd take an ugly Isn't used face mule code? skin coat? Because it's take magic it. mule skin, that's why. And it's not even mule skin, it's donkey skin. Hey, wait a minute, that's Faith's coat. It was face coat. Look, you left it yeah. in my place, what do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sited statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. What are you complaining to him for? The witches set their own prices, Toad, and the prices aren't set because of greed. Making a glamour is hard, and the materials are rare. Spare me the lesson of new do economics. I don't want to hear it. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. It shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not going to take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the <laughs> own lays? Okay, Og Frey. I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit. It's not worth it, Toad. What? Sometimes it's worth it? You know, depending. I mean, I don't even know what he's talking about. When has a crooked man loan ever been worth it, Jack? Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off! <laughs> Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Mm. It's just tough, is all. I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... Uh, I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. <laughs> Drop by any time. 
There's always the farm. Leave me, Toad. You can always go to the farm. He really grows on you. <laughs> Look, I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? Dead and beat his own, at least. Because I don't know man. anything about it. Yeah, that's why I came down here. It'll lead me right to the Crooked Man if I can track it. He's been sending people to kill me. And I'd like to have a little chat about that. Was the axe here? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. And that's saying something. Since, you know, I what can sometimes I miss one? the obvious. I'm just joking. I never miss anything. Steel hmm. trap and all that. You wouldn't mind if I look around for a bit then. And what if I did mind? <laughs> uh, got it. Listen, That's my... I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run it on hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Uh, can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in. So, uh... I'd really rather you not physically be here if he comes back. You know? He's not what I'd call a... Friendly fellow. What, what else Jersey can you tell me about Jersey Devil? Oh wait, just that Devil, he's a fucking okay. psycho, and I like to stay out of his way. I typically work when he's not here, but I can call you when he comes back. All right? Kid, you shut just... up, Jack. If the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Okay, so I get to look around. Um, display, what is this? Crystal ball. Hmm. Just my luck. Uh, <laughs> crystal ball, what is this? Pin cushion. Reminds me of Briar Rose. Enchanted You're not needles. touching anything, are you? Oh, okay then. Why is you worried about if I touch anything? Um, earn. Hey, look with your eyes, not your hands, okay? <laughs> I wonder what that is. Like, like most of these items I know, and the other ones I actually don't. Hmm. Don't know anything about that. Neon. Neon lights. With a fish right there. Fish friend. <laughs> Baby, like, what the fuck? What is this? Recently. Carmen is free on the woodsman. I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh,. <laughs> You're a lying piece of shit, Jack. Oh, okay, come on, baby. That wasn't. The axe was right here all along. Now tell me what happened to it. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so. Uh, and even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Just tell me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No! No! I had no goddamn idea! She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Sometimes it's for her, sometimes it's for the crooked man. But I'm smart enough to not ask questions, alright? Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't 
Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... Oh, shit. But you, you're the guy who makes sure I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? I if you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grinch said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. I think while tempers are running high, mm. we should keep demands to a minimum. Hiya, oh, fellas. Christ. And this fucking guy, too? <laughs> what is his axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? And you. I can't believe you'd even show your face in here. After what you did to our guy, Tweedledum. So tell me what you're here for, or get the fuck out. Uh, he wanted to Watch know where... Actually, I got you know for what? You. I don't care what he wanted. Wait. We're not finished yet. Yes, we are. If I were you, I'd watch my tone about now. Hmm. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Big Beast joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the crooked man snapped his bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over just like that. I'm uh, just gonna uh, let you two, you know. The crooked well, man guy is like appreciate a complete that. ass. Like, he has to be the biggest yourself, asshole in the Jersey. game. The Jack, Jack's smart about this. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna do it. You Ooh. piece of shit. Oh. <laughs> Restrain, Jerry. Restrain. I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out. I'd like to see you try, you backwards. Who's gonna restrain? Talk. You won't be talking when I'm done with you. Yeah, I'll be laughing. Ha, ha. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park just so I can prove to you that your axe isn't here. And you think I'm gonna take another inch of abuse? Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> That's it. Oh God! You talk big, but I don't. He took it like a boss. Stones to back it up. Ooh, Still a little bit. sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. This ain't gonna go like baby. you went. Ah, you fuck. Them needles, baby. Ah, fucker. Ah. Oh. Ooh, yeah. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. You want them now? You can take them. <laughs> Jump room. <laughs> they gonna axe right there. Protecting your friend. Too bad you couldn't protect those whores. <laughs> go on. Screw you. To stop me. Oh, God. Okay, I got him. <laughs> there she is. A bit? A bit? Oh, shit. We caught it. Oh. Come here. <laughs> Get in there. Oh fuck. There we go. She trying to penetrate me. Oh come on. Give me this. Stay like right this. Use your own energy to get you, bitch. I just got that fix, you motherfucker. 
Oh shit, he's gonna knock my head off. She's like so like Jurassic Park. I found her. X to the brain. The X for it. Get it. Use it. Sorry, headless horseman. Yeah, that's a heavy ass statue. <laughs> Bring back some reminders. Oh man, get that approval, baby. So, wanna try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the. <coughs> Shadows. That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. Oh, fucking shit. Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I don't. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. No clue about who was he really is an asshole. He deserves oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop the cut above and if i can find the mirror piece there i can find the crooked man that's her spot that's where all the magic happens hmm. now leave me so i can find some aspirin oh. <laughs> he ain't going anywhere will mary be there you want me to try you a picture I don't fucking know. You <laughs> got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. That's a hardcore bastard. Even when he got his ass kicked, he could still talk shit. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can roar, smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it going to do you? Because he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. The fuck was up with that? Out of smoke? Ah, oh, fuck. Did I give I one? I hit you with this thing. <laughs> Shitty brand anyway. Shitty brand anyway. <laughs> Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? It's my job. We'll get him. All right. We'll go do it then. Hmm. Get 
Baker. You know what? Soldier. I ain't gonna say nothing. Wait! This the guy from before. He a captor? Oh shit. He looks so preppy. <laughs> he look like he got knowledge. Who rules the land? So, the cut above butcher shop. Late afternoon. No smoking. <laughs> but I'm Big B, baby. I don't give a fuck. Keep on puffing that cigarette. All right, guys. I'm start the video right here. But when we come back, we'll continue with this whole Wolf Among Us. Hopefully, a bloody mirror here. But with that, that being said, just Marcus, aka Gaming Archer, keeping the shirt like an arrow. Now, I'll see you in my next video. Or hear from you. Either way. Holla.